In this video, I'm going to cover a better way to do routing with Express. So what we can do is take the code from our uh, Express RESTful exercise, where we have full CRUD on a user's resource, and we can refactor this to not be so cluttered. Just for context, the actual app is really simple. I can add users. When I go to profile, it goes to slash users slash ID. When I click edit, it renders the template by slash users slash ID slash edit and so forth. So all of our app code is working. We're not gonna make any functional changes to the code. We're just gonna reorganize it to be more declarative. And I'll get into what declarative means in a little bit, but the first thing is our app.js is too large and it has a lot of logic in it that it shouldn't be concerned about. Mainly, um, all of the routing logic can go in a different file because this file is just supposed to configure and run the app and it doesn't care about all this other stuff. So I'm going to make a new folder and you can call this either routes or I like to call it routers because technically we're instantiating a couple of express routers. I always put an index.js that just helps exporting and importing later if I ever need to scale the app. But I'm just going to create a users.js file and then uh, get express in there. I'm also going to define a global called router, which is going to be express.router. A capital R. And also some linters require that since this is a constructor function that you place the new keyword there, uh, it works the same either way. So um, I'll just keep it for now, but just a note there. So now I'm actually just going to copy all of these route handling things, except maybe the first one actually. That can stay. Um, but I'm going to copy those into this file. And since they're also referencing the, our database here, which is really just an array and a variable called ID, I have to put those in this file as well. All right, I'm going to save both of these, and I'm going to open this to the side so that we can work on both of them at the same time. So for right now, um, our app won't work because we're still referencing app. And the naive way to fix this would just be to replace app with router. So router does have get and post and patch methods just like app does. But we're actually going to go even more declarative. And instead of defining the methods just on the base router, we're going to do a router.route method and then define which HTTP verbs work on that route, basically. So in this case, we have get and post, and I can just copy the code from the get handler and the post handler. See here, paste it there. And then I don't need these anymore. And already it's starting to look much better. And this is a more declarative format. And what I mean by that is I can open this file and see router.route slash users and then see a dot get and a dot post. So I don't have to look into all the code. I don't have to like look for all the possible methods that reference slash users. Um, I know that they're all going to be contained right here. So by declarative, I just mean it's more readable and focused on what the code does rather than how it does it. Um, but there's a whole um, kind of, there's books you can read about declarative versus imperative, which is the other style which we had before. Um, but just know that it's preferred to do things like this usually in production apps. because It's way more readable. Um, I'm going to define the other routes the same way now. So slash users slash new as a get request. That will replace this. 
extra parenthesis there. And then app.route slash users slash ID. And this one, I'm going to have a get, patch, and a delete. And this kind of looks interesting, like I'm chaining these methods, but I'm actually just, um, this is just the syntax to declare the different possible route handlers. Technically, I am chaining it, but you don't have to worry about the actual function code that's going on here. Just realize that um, this will work. <laughs> All right. Put the patch in there, the delete code in there. And then our last route is ID slash edit, and then I can do a get request there. Um, I just formatted my code using a tool called Prettier, by the way, which is built by the people at Facebook, and it's basically an opinionated code formatter, and it's pretty nice because I didn't have to do all this nonsense. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that it put these on the same line, whereas I'd like to make it consistent because I really like the other way that it was formatted. So, but it's great for like fixing um, braces and semicolons and stuff. All right, so this is looking pretty good. I just need to remember to actually export module.exports equals, in this case, it's just router. And then in my index, I will just exports.userrouter equals require dot slash users. And then over here, um, I just need to import the router. I'm going to make a new section called app imports. And then I'm going to say const user router equals require dot slash routers. And all I have to do now is have a middleware declaration. So I'm just going to say for every route, basically, just use the user router, except for the slash. And the only reason I'm keeping slash here is because uh, it's fine for this generic redirect to be on the main app. And it'll make more sense why it's like that later. But if we go back here, um, we shouldn't get an error, but app is not defined. So I must have forgot to replace app somewhere in this user's file. Right. So instead of app.route, it's supposed to be router.route. Cool. I refresh. There is no users2. That's fine. Here we go. So the app is actually working just the same as it was before, and our code is slightly cleaner. There's one thing we can do to actually refactor it to be a little bit better, and that involves a route prefix. So you can see that we're re repeating ourselves with slash users for all of these. And with our middleware declaration here, we can just say slash for everything at slash users, forward it to the user router. So by the time it gets here, it already is referencing slash users. And we don't have to repeat that every single time. So if I go back to our code, it should be working just fine still. All right, so the great thing about this code is that um, our app.js is way smaller now. It contains just the executable code that it cares about. And we have this nice declarative router syntax here so that we can go in to the routers users.js and just see all of the different routes. If you wanted to get even more organized, what you could do is instead of having the route handler logic here, you could have the um, handler functions basically be in a different file and then this uh, router file would just be a declaration of all the functions that it's using 
should be super declarative. And I recommend that for production, but we'll probably cover how to do that in a later video. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.